your girl Nico Wanderlust and it's the month of September and it's just like that. I can smell that autumn is coming here in Norway and I kind of feel like oh my god this year is almost over. It's like September, October, November and then December and then another year is coming. So there's actually a lot of things happen. I mean a lot and we all knew that there's a lot of things happen in the past few months around the world and still i am very grateful and thankful that we are surviving and standing still you know despite of the ongoing global crisis and global pandemic we all knew that how it was really hard for everyone you know it's not always unicorns and rainbows and this pandemic actually destroyed a lot of lives and plans so i hope wherever you are in the world uh, you know stay strong stay safe stay healthy and remember safety first always guys before you close this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to get more video updates also click the bell button so for today's topic before we totally proceed i want to mention i i actually read this message uh, i mean comment from one of our viewers uh, his name is joe marie joy joy boliari and he asked me if we can show the other side of norway you know i mean the unpleasant side something like that like in the philippines you know the depressed area less fortunate places and the bad side i mean all the negative side of norway and i was actually uh, thinking it made me think what are those stuff and things because honestly i never saw that here in norway okay there are some places in oslo like there are maybe like dirty or like more of urban places that you know has gangsters and other stuff i mean it actually happened all over the world and it happens in so many countries and i don't see much beggars here in norway because if you are staying legally here in norway and you are registered to the system then i think you are okay and you are ready to go and of course if you are working and then you can actually get a good benefits from the government and also you know the system are very organized the people trust the government so that is one of the good things about norway so instead of the depressed word let's discuss about the downside of living in norway especially for an expat like you and like me it's based on my observation and experience so the first one on the list is finding a job the hard truth about finding a job in norway is not a simple obstacle and we all knew that you know most employers will of course want to know where you came from what is your legal status in norway the level of your education and of course your norwegian language proficiency which is very important and the last one is your work experience it is a fact that norwegians are very competitive about landing a job you know a very good job in this country and most of them has master's degree and will keep on studying to higher education to obtain good benefits besides they are also native and they speak norwegian language you know they know the culture by heart and also my degree in the philippines is of course not really recognized by the norwegian authorities so basically i am start from the scratch and i have to study again here in norway using their language and it means when i came here it's literally back to zero but of course if you want to check your level of education here in norway you can uh, go to the knockout website the link is on my description box below they are the one who gonna kind of translate your diploma from your country to norwegian something like that so it's actually a big challenge for all of us expats we all knew that if you're an expat living here in norway face a lot of competition hence make sure that your cv will stand out on the norwegian job market and you know you just have to apply 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 many jobs as you can and also it takes time to process of finding a jobs here in norway so you know take it easy do the step-by-step -step process the other one side of living in norway is the cost of living norway is expensive and we all knew that the downside of the cost of living in norway is also accompanied by the upside of receiving a very high good salary and good quality of life of course the ideal balance result from spending uh, less money from what you actually earn so i think this is a good idea and tips i mean you really have to live wise in norway so if you are only earning this money you only have to spend this money 
something like that you know in norway there are so many ways we can save and we have to find ways on how you can save you know you will learn that through the years while you're living in norway it was actually based on my own experience and observation if you knew how to find that balance it's not that actually expensive nor cheap in norway it is the good quality of life here in norway for example like if you're students or a kid or old people you know you can always get benefits the next one on the list is the downside of the language barrier and i think this is the most challenging part of living in another country even though many norwegian you know they speak english most of the things you can see around everything was in norwegian you go to bank you go to the supermarket you go to the cinema you ride on a public transport everything is in a norwegian language so you have to understand and try to learn their language because it is also the key to landing a job here in norway be proficient in norwegian language this is my advice for those who are new here in norway you know the smartest thing you can do if you're planning to stay here in norway is to invest your time in learning their language the norwegian language you know you just attend the sprok cafe or course language and you know be social with the norwegian take the proficiency test practice 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 the norwegian language which i told you i didn't do the first time i came here and now i am still kind of like studying norwegian language and last thing on the list is clearing the ude immigration paperwork you know the norwegian directorate of immigration are the one who's responsible for you know all immigration related matters processing your papers so you can uh, stay legally here in norway you have to prepare all the right documents for you to be able to stay here and you have to give them proof you know that you will be a good abiding citizen and we all knew that it's been a very challenging part if you're applying in the ude but to be honest i have not had nothing but great experience with them they are very polite and helpful but i knew and i've heard that you know some people are complaining but they are just doing their job sometimes it will take you a while to get an appointment or receive an answer from them for your visa but i'm sure like many people had some bad experience from you know time to time yeah sure they are very strict but you know this is the law law is law for a reason and that's a good thing about norway they actually like take time read and check all your documents learn everything about you what you need and prepare all the details question just you know you have to follow the instruction and keep all your documents neatly ordered and you should have no problems i assure you so good luck to your UDE application and all the best in your journey here in norway so those are basically the challenges of the downside of living here in norway like those are the three main basic but you know i cannot deny that this country is a really great country with a great quality of life although the downside of living in norway may seem overwhelming you know you also have to think those positives like the upsides the upsides that you will experience in this viking land after all those downsides you might encounter you know while living in norway just think that you will always find benefits and challenges when it comes to moving to another country and it's all gonna be worth it trust me you really just have to work hard for it and then you earn it so what is the other downside that you can think of when it comes to living in other country let me know which country are you living right now by leaving a comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel Nico Wanderlust, click the bell button to get more video updates. I am uploading content about travel and culture and experiences and the way of life here in Norway. If you have any video suggestion, don't hesitate to comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, always wash your hands. Remember, be safe. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a nice day. Bye! Bye.